Good morning, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft. We have two tropical depressions that are expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico uh, that are both expected to intensify as a Category 1 hurricane. So Tropical Depression 13 expected to uh, impact the Leeward Islands today. We have Tropical Depression 14 that's mainly impacting Honduras and Nicaragua and expected to move over the Yucatan as we approach Saturday night and Sunday. Let's really focus in on 14. Again, expected to cross over the Yucatan and then we're really going to have a lot more guidance and certainty of where this is expected to go after the Yucatan. And that's going to be late Sunday into early Monday. But right now and through the weekend, it's time to make your plans and preparations as we are in the cone of uncertainty from the National Hurricane Center all along the Texas coastline through Louisiana, bracing really for a Category 1 hurricane. Again, at this point, because model guidance is uncertain, so is this forecast. This is going to change. So do not expect that to stay the same. In fact, let me show you this some of the spaghetti plots or uh, the models that we continue to watch. This is uh, taking into account the upper level wind flow as well. And notice how this is saying, hey, this could be a southeast Texas towards Louisiana landfall. But bottom line, we're going to have a big source of moisture early next week, bracing the Gulf Coast. Let's get back to 13. So Tropical Depression 13 at this point, expected to move across the Leeward Islands into early next week, brush the Florida coastline, and then could potentially be more of a mobile Alabama landfall. We'll have to continue to monitor. It's expected to become a Category 1 hurricane as well. At this point, two depressions, and at either at any point today, we could have Tropical Storm Laura or Tropical Storm Marco. Either one, 13 or 14, could be named for us. It's just we will continue to watch, see, and of course, listen to the National Hurricane Center for that as they send their hurricane hunters to fly in and investigate early this morning. Two areas of high pressure that going to, are going to act more of like a tug of war. So because of the upper level winds, the really warm waters all across the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to make it conducive for development, but as far as the landfall goes, it's tough to tell you exactly right now. This is what we can say through the weekend, rain chances remain slim. Early next week, you may see this increase, but we're going to have to continue to monitor, and that's the key. Make sure you download the KJU 11 uh, weather app if you can at this point, and you'll continue to get those advisories right through the weekend. More to come.